Intelligence Cloud is just a way of taking advantage of information that the JVM is already producing so that people can do some things that are common in technology, which is um, I want to make sure my applications are secure and I want to decrease the amount of maintenance that I have to do to those applications. Hi, this is your Sapnam Bhartia and welcome to TFR Let's Talk. Today we have with us Eric Koslo, Senior Director of Product Management at Azul. Eric, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you very much for having me. We have covered Azul before, so our audience, they do know about the company, but I would like to hear from you to just refresh their memories. What is Azul all about? Azul is all focused on Java technology. So Java software engineers, Java operators, we make a JVM that helps people run applications faster at lower costs. And now Intelligence Cloud brings a lot of information back so that people can make the best even better. You name dropped Intelligence Cloud. What is it? Intelligence Cloud is just a way of taking advantage of information that the JVM is already producing so that people can do some things that are common in technology, which is um, I want to make sure my applications are secure and I want to decrease the amount of maintenance that I have to do to those applications. Can you just go a bit in detail? I mean, I, I like the overview that uh, just to understand what problem it solves, how it helps customers, and if you can also share it's working. How does it work? So over the last 20 or so years that Java has been one of the most popular languages, there's been a lot of code written. I'm sure you've had a lot of companies and developers on your show who talk about their Java software. Well, as people have rotated around between different companies, they've ended up creating a lot of code, but they haven't gotten rid of old code that they've written but no longer need. So one of the things that Intelligence Cloud does is it helps them identify code in their application that they're spending time maintaining and working on, but no longer need. So what we do is we give you the opportunity and visibility to delete that code and thusly lower some of your maintenance. Uh, on the security side, over the last several years, there's been an uptick in the number of breaches, and virtually every organization has to do what's called security scanning to make sure that their applications are secure and figure out if they're vulnerable. Well, the way that Intelligence Cloud helps there is we take advantage of our knowledge of what code the JVM is actually running so that if another tool says you're vulnerable and you need to fix this security vulnerability, well, the JVM might not actually load that code, in which case you can deprioritize that particular security risk. So on an engineering side, it's all about time savings to make sure that you're working on the right things. So if you look at Intelligence Cloud, Either we look at Azul's whole product portfolio, or if you look at the whole ecosystem, where it fixed fits in security, make optimizing systems. Can you talk about that? Yeah, the real target audience is DevOps teams who are working heavily with their individual Java applications. So if you're a DevOps team focused on delivering a Java application to satisfy particular business requirements, oftentimes there's a separate security team who's coming over and they're telling you when you're vulnerable and things that you need to work on. Well, what Intelligence Cloud does is it takes a data stream from your JVMs to help you understand and put that security risk into perspective perspective. Does my JVM actually load this? If the answer is no, then it's not as urgent of a security flaw. Can you talk about the intelligent aspect of cloud? Are you using the generic AI technology or you're taking gen AI technologies? We do use some artificial intelligence behind the scenes mostly simply because there are so many different security vulnerabilities in the world that we need a way to prune down those listings of vulnerabilities that researchers have found to figure out which of these actually apply to Java applications. So on the back end, we have some artificial intelligence that goes through them and does our automated triage. Um, but in terms of the product name, it's just a general reference to the fact that this makes you more intelligent by taking a data stream from the JVM that runs your application to give you better insight into what you're doing that you may not know all on your own. Can you also talk about the impact the Intelligence Cloud had on team, how they were doing things before it, and how it kind of helps them become more, uh, you know, Efficient? Yeah, so a variety of companies that we work with, they've built up very large applications. Some are a million lines of code, some are four million lines of code. 
Um, and these are things that those engineers have to maintain. They come into work every day and that's all they think about. So what Intelligence Cloud has done is it's given them the opportunity to look over their code as the JVM runs and pick out portions of that code that don't run anymore. Well, the engineers can now remove that from their code base, which means when they wake up to and go into work the next morning, they don't have to focus on maintaining that portion. You want to manage a pipeline? What if you could get rid of 30% of your code and all associated tests? How much faster would your build and deployment pipeline be if you could get rid of things that you didn't need? And can you also talk about how does it fit in Azul's whole, you know, once again, Java ecosystem por product portfolio, how does it integrate with other offerings as well? So Azul makes two JVMs. Those JVMs are called Core, which is just a build of OpenJDK, and Prime, which is a faster version of Java. And Intelligence Cloud works directly from those two JVMs without any changes at all. But one of the things that's new about Intelligence Cloud is that we now have what's called a Java agent, which lets you work inside of a Coretto JVM, inside of a Microsoft JVM, inside of a JVM from any other vendor. So companies now, just like they've had their choice of Java, they can bring all of their Java intelligence into Intelligence Cloud to improve regardless of which JVM vendor they're choosing. And what does it mean for developers? For developers, uh, largely it means a lot of happiness. Uh, um, you think about people who come into work every day, and one of the pressing issues that I think that a lot of engineers have is, how can I watch more of your shows and your videos? I know that's a big thing that every engineer works on. And if they can delete some of their code and they don't have to spend more hours maintaining that code and managing their test pipelines, then they can have more time to engage with uh, your show and watch more videos and just enjoy the world. And does it also mean, I mean, when you free developers time, they can use that time towards things, you know, that add more value to the business, more innovation, you know, the, the, so you you have limited amount of resource time. So either you can use in plumbing or you can build new things there. So it just makes things more efficient and also more innovative if I... No, I'm not wrong. Anytime you free yourself up from having to do a lot of work, you have more time to do things, which is more time to innovate. Um, a lot of the times when we go to change different pieces of code, we have all these red bars that pop up. We have to make sure all our test pipelines pass. A full test pipeline might take four or five hours. Well, if I can use Intelligence Cloud and figure out that I don't need 30% of my code, I can speed up that pipeline by a lot, which means now when it comes for me to deliver things, I have less stuff in my way so I can innovate faster, I can release faster, and I can just improve the overall business. Who would you consider your competitor or who are you, you know, kind of competing against? The things that we're commonly measured against on Intelligence Cloud for the vulnerability detection is various composition analyzers. Those are the security scanners that companies are already using today to pick out, are you vulnerable? Do you have any vulnerabilities there? So, you know, we're kind of measured against those other tools, but the way that we differentiate is we understand that some of those libraries don't actually load. Um, so that's the competition on the security side. On the engineering side, um, for the detection of dead code, there's a variety of static analyzers that people use that can pick out fully dead code, but an unreachable code. But if you have code that has like a public access modifier and the code could run, it can't be picked out by these other static analysis tools. So the only way to get that data feed is to just let the application monitor itself in production and bring that intelligent feed back. And how does it integrate with the existing systems that your customers are already running? So one, some of the feedback that we've heard from people is that no one wants a new dashboard to look at. There's too many places to look. There's too many panes of glass. So we have a single point of a, a collection for Intelligence Cloud, which is then accessible primarily via an API. So we do have a little user interface to show people what the information that they're integrating is. But the entire point is to bring this information back, make it helpful to people, and we do that on an API first way so you can integrate it with any tools that you're using, be that Jira, Confluence, Splunk, um, any particular dashboard that you're looking at. 
it's pretty easy to integrate. And how folks can use it? Is it a service? Is it a product that you have to buy? Intelligence Cloud is a service that operates behind the scenes. So it's a cloud service operated by Azul, and we would turn it on for any customer who was interested. And that provides all the points of collection to really aggregate the amount of data that's being consumed. From that point, um, someone would just connect, um, grab their API key, and then it's generally integrated through a variety of scripts. So anyone who wants an intelligence cloud tenant can just reach out to us and we'll help set one up. Of course, you know, the intelligence cloud came out, you know, a few weeks uh, ago. Uh, we will talk about those things when they are ready, but just give us a teaser or glimpse what else to expect from Azul this year. The main things to expect from Azul is um, that Java will be better and that we can give you better intelligence for what you're already doing. Our whole aspect is how we can help make engineers' lives better to improve the way that they use Java and run their Java applications. Eric, thank you so much for taking time out today and, of course, talk about the whole Java ecosystem, uh, Intelligence Cloud. Thanks for great insights, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.